Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther, and today I want to show you how to make this beautiful mermaid tail. The size is for a newborn, but you can easily adapt it for uh, zero to three months just by changing changing the hook size to a six millimeter hook. I will be using this yarn, it's a four medium and the color is scuba and I will be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, we are going to start by making a magic circle and one chain make six single crochets into the loop one two three four five six close the magic circle finish with one slip stitch on the first single crochet made and for the second round make one single crochet on each stitch at the end you should have six single crochets I have my six single crochets. I will make my slip stitch. For the round number three, chain one, go back to the same stitch and make one single crochet. We're going to be making an increase in the second. So one and two single crochets. One single crochet and two single crochets in the next. One single crochet. Two single crochets in the next. We have nine single crochets. Make one slip stitch. For the next round is the number four. Make one single crochet on each stitch around. At the end, you should have nine single crochets. For the round number five, make one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. One single crochet, one single crochet, and two single crochets. One, one, and on the next stitch, make two single crochets. At the end, we should have 12 single crochets. Make one slip stitch to join, and for the next round, make one single crochet on each stitch around. Uh, we should have 12 uh, single crochets. For the round number seven, chain one, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. One single crochet on the next and one single crochet on the next. Now we're going to be increasing every four stitch. We have three. And on the fourth, make two single crochets. Make one single crochet on each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Two single crochets on the next. One, two, three. And on the last, make two single crochets. Now we should have 15 single crochets. For the round eight, make one chain. We're going to be making one single crochet four times. One, two, three, and four. Next stitch is going to be two single crochets together. One and two. One, two, three, four. Two single crochets in the next space. Repeat this pattern one more time. Then we should have 18 stitches. For the round number nine, we're going to be making one single crochet five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, <laughs> five. Next stitch is going to be two single crochets. Make one single crochet on each of the next five stitches. One, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव नेक्स्ट स्टिच वन इंक्रीज वन इन टू रिपीट दिस वन मोर टाइम वी शुड हैव ट्वेंटी वन स्टिचेस एट द एंड ऑफ द राउंड नंबर नाइन फॉर द राउंड नंबर टेन वी आर गोइंग टू बी मेकिंग सिंगल क्रोशेट सिक्स टाइम्स एंड देन टू सिंगल क्रोशेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टू सिंगल क्रोशेट इन द नेक्स्ट स्टिच रिपीट दिस टू मोर टाइम्स At the end of the round number 10, we should have 24 stitches. Uh for the round number 11, we're going to change the pattern. 1 2 3 chains. These three chains are going to count as the first double crochet. Go back to the same space and make one more double crochet. With the chain 3 at the beginning, we have two double crochets. Chain 1 Skip one and two stitches, and on the third, make two double crochets. One and two. Skip. I mean, chain one. Skip two stitches and make two double crochets in the same space. Chain one. Skip two stitches and on the third, make two double crochets. Okay. Continue working like this around. Okay, at the end we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight groups with two double crochets divided by one chain. Now make one slip stitch on top of the chain three. Okay, as you know, the crocodile stitch is work in two different rounds. I did the, the first one here. Now for the second one, make one, two, and three chains. Now we're going to be taking the stitch like this, so turn like this, and we are going to be working on the side of the stitch and make one, two, and three double crochets. With the chain three at beginning, we have four stitches. Chain one, and now turn. And we are going to be working around the post of the of the second double crochet and make four double crochets one two three and four on the next two stitches we are going to be making uh insert your hook here in between and make one single crochet We have the first crocodile stitch made. Next is going to be uh, the crocodile stitch here. So take your hook and insert your hook like this and make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn, take the Other double crochet and make four double crochets on the side like this two three and four on the next group is going to be one single crochet and now we're going to be making the crocodile stitch here make one Two, three, and four. Chain one, turn, and we are going to be taking this stitch and make one, two, three, and four. One single crochet. Go to the next group and make four double crochets. Two, three, four, chain one and turn. We're going to be taking the stitch like this and make four double crochets. Two, three, 
and four. Now we're going to finish with one single crochet in between the last group. Take the chain three here and make one slip stitch. And we are going to be repeating this all the way. Insert your hook here on the last single crochet made. Grab your uh, yarn and pull it through. Okay, show you we have one, two, three, and four crocodile stitches. Now for the next um, round is the number is the number 13. We're going to start by making one, two, and three chains. Go back to the same space and make one double crochet. One chain. Now we're going to be making uh, two increases in this um, scale here. So yarn over and look for the chain one space here. So insert your hook right here and make one and two double crochets. We have one increase made. Chain one. Now go to the center of the stitch here of the scale and make one and two double crochets. Chain one, go to the next um, chain here and make one and two double crochets. We made two increases here. Chain one, and now here we have the single crochet. So we're going to be going through these two loops. Insert your hook and make one and two double crochets one chain go directly to the center of the scale and make two double crochets one chain and look for these two loops here insert your hook right there make one and two double crochets chain one and this is the third third scale so we're going to be making two increases here again so this is the chain between the two groups of the double crochets. Insert your hook and make one and two double crochets. One chain, go to the center of the scale and make two double crochets. One chain, make one more increase here. One and two. We did two more increases here. In total, we're increasing four um, groups of two double crochets. Now go in between these two loops and make the two double crochets. One chain and go directly to the middle of the scale here and make two double crochets. One chain and we're going to be making one slip stitch on top of the chain three at beginning. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve groups with uh, two double crochets divided by a chain one. For the next round, it's going to be the scales. So again, one, two, and three. And turn uh, your work like this. And we're going to be making three double crochets on the side of the stitch like this. One chain and take the other double crochet and make one, two, three, and four. Next uh, group of two double crochets is going to be one single crochet in between. Next group is going to be one scale. So make one, two, three, and four. Chain one and take the stitch like this and make one, two, three, and four. One uh, single crochet in the next one. And I want you to keep repeating this around. Okay, I finish. I will make my slip stitch here on top of the chain three. And we have one, two, three, four, five, and six scales now. 
and again go to the single crochet here and pull up this loop and for now we're going to be making three chains go back to the same space and make one double crochet one chain and we're not going to do any increases for the round to number 15. So just make two double crochets here one chain insert your hook in between these two loops and make two double crochets one chain go to the middle of the scale make two double crochets one chain and continue working like this around no more no no increases for this round okay have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve groups of the two double crochets separated but by, by one chain now we are going to be making the scales one two and three we make the three double crochets here chain one and take the next double crochet like this and make four double crochets one two three and four go to the next group and make one single crochet taking the next double crochet like this then make one two three and four one chain take the next double crochet like this one two three and four one single crochet and i want you to keep repeating this around at the end you should have six scales okay i am done and remember to to go back to the single crochet and pull up the loop here and okay i i mark the first scale and the number let's see this is first one second and the fourth one because we are going to be making the increases here as you can see we, we are going to have two scales in between the increases okay we're going to start by making chain three one two and three go back to the same space and make one double crochet one chain and we are in we are going to be increasing here so make one increase here one and two double crochets first increase made one chain go to the center of the scale and make the two double crochets one chain and make one more increase here one and two we already have the two increases now insert your hook in between this, these two loops and make two double crochets one and two one chain go to the middle of the scale and make two double crochets one chain go to the next single crochet here and make two double crochets one chain go to the middle of the scale and make two double crochets one and two one chain and make the two double crochets here and now we have a marker here so it means that we are going to be making two increases so go to the, the here is the chain one that we did in between the groups of two double crochets so go there and make two double crochets one and two one chain go to the middle of the scale and make two double crochets one chain and make the next increase here one 
and two, one chain. Okay, we, the, we have the two increases here. Now, do not miss the next uh, stitch here. Go between these two loops and make one, two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets, one chain, And at the end, we should have 16 groups with two double crochets. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, now we're going to, the next round is then round number 18. Chain three and make the three double crochets taking the stitch like this one chain insert your hook here and bring it right here and make one two three and four next group is going to be one single crochet and next group is going to be the scale. One, two, three, and four. One chain. And four more double crochets on the side of the second double crochet. And one single crochet here. Okay, I want you to go around and at the end you will have eight of these stitches. I am finished. So insert your hook here on the last single crochet made and bring this loop here. And for this round, uh, no increases. Start making chain three. Go back to the same space here and make one double crochet. One chain and work right here in the middle of the scale and make one and two double crochets one chain and now we're going to be making the two double crochets here in between these two loops one and two one chain and two double crochets in the middle of the scale <coughs> Just continue repeating this around. At the end, you should have 16 groups with two double crochets. I finish, I will make my slip stitch here to join. And chain three. Make three double crochets on the side of this stitch. one chain take this second stitch like this and make three double crochets one two three four double crochets going between the next two stitches and make one single crochet next group is going to be the scale so make four double crochets here one two, three, four, one chain. Take the next stitch like this. Make four double crochets. Go to the next group and make one single crochet. I want you to keep repeating this around. Okay, no more increases. I finished there, so I will insert my hook, hook here. And we're going to be repeating this all the way to the top of the tail. We're going to be making the chain three in one double crochet, one chain. 
go directly to the middle of the scale and make two double crochets, one chain, go here in between these two loops and one chain, go here in the middle of the scale and continue working like this so no more increases around at the end you should have 16 groups of um, two double crochets okay, the next round is going to be forming the scales so start with chain three make three more double crochets here one chain take the next stitch like this and make four double crochets one two three and four go to the next group of the two double crochets and make one single crochet next group is going to be the scale one two three and four one chain take the next stitch like this and make three, four double crochets one two three and four one single crochet in the next group and i want you to keep repeating this round with the groups of two double crochet 16 groups and then the round with the scales and i will come back with you and i will let you know how many rounds i did okay here is the round uh 16 then we did the increases on the 17 and this is the 18. every uh, scale has two rounds so this is the 18. uh here is going to be 20 22 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, and 36. So I did uh, until the round 36 uh, with no more increases. I have um, eight scales and 16 groups of two double crochets in one chain. Okay, uh, it's about 16 inches in the length. So we have until now it's 11 inches insert your hook in the last single crochet made and pull up this loop make one chain that is not going to count as a stitch go back to the same space and make one half double crochet go back to the same space and make one half double crochet like this we have two half double crochets make one chain go to the scale here and make two half double crochets one chain go to the next scale here and make two half double crochets one chain and make two half double crochets in the next scale one chain to have double crochets on the next single crochet and continue working like this around okay after the chain one here just make one slip stitch on the first half double crochet made now start making two chains this is going to be this is not going to count as a stitch go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet make one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the chain one and just keep making one double crochet on each stitch around Just continue making one double crochet on each stitch and i will be back okay you should have 48 stitches now make one slip stitch into the first double crochet made 
two chains this doesn't count as a stitch so we're going to be uh, doing back post uh, double crochet and front post double crochet we can start making one front post double crochet next one is going to be back post one front post one back post front post double crochet and back post double crochet just continue working like this around the waist okay we'll finish with a back post double crochet slip stitch on the first stitch make here chain two and we're going to be repeating what we did in the previous round so just make one front post double crochet one back post double crochet one front post double crochet and just continue doing like that around the waist okay the widest part is about 16 inches and for the waist is going to be about 13 to 14 inches but uh, this will stretch a lot for the thing uh, we are going to start by making 15 chains one two three four i have 15 chains here uh, for the first row we're going to start on the second chain from the hook so skip the first one and make one single crochet on the second one and continue making one single crochet on each stitch across at the end we should have 14 single crochets i have 14 single crochets now for the second uh, row i will i will be taking only the back loop of the stitch so insert your hook only taking the back loop and make one single crochet 13 times taking the back loop of the stitch only i have 13 single crochets on the last stitch i will be making one increase make two single crochets on the last stitch now we have 15 single crochets chain one and turn Taking the back loop of the stitch, make one single crochet on each stitch across. At the end, you should have 15 single crochets. For the round, row number four, make one single crochet 14 times, taking the back loop of the stitch only. And we're going to be making one increase on the last stitch make two do or two single crochets on the last stitch for the number five uh, chain one and turn now we have 16 single crochets just make one single crochet across at the end you should have 16 single crochets taking the back loop of the stitch only for the round uh, six chain one and turn make one single crochet on the next 15 stitches and on the last stitch we are going to be making two single crochets okay make two single crochets on the last stitch and at the end now we should have 17 stitches chain one and turn for the row number seven make one single crochet on each stitch across For the row number eight, chain one and turn, make one single crochet on the next six, 16 stitches, and we're going to be making one increase on the last stitch. Just keep making your single crochets, taking the back loop. Make two single crochets on the last stitch. For the number nine, chain one and turn, make one single crochet on each stitch across, 
taking the back loop only and at the end you should have 18 single crochets for the number 10 chain one and turn make one single crochet on the next um, 17 stitches and make two single crochets on the last stitch I did my two single crochets, now for the number 11, chain one and turn, make one single crochet on each stitch across, taking the back loop of the stitch only, for the number 12, chain one and turn, make one single crochet on each stitch, uh, for 18 times and make two single crochets on the last stitch. I did my two single crochets, chain one and turn. Now make one single crochet on each stitch across, taking the back loop only. At the end of the row number 13, we should have 20 single crochets. Now for the uh, number 14, chain one and turn again, make one single crochet on each stitch, taking the back loop and making one increase at the end. If I did my increase, now for the number 15, make one single crochet on each stitch across, we should have 21 single crochets. For the round number 16, chain one and turn, make one single crochet on each stitch across, making one uh, increase at the end of the row. For the next row, chain one and turn, make one single crochet on each stitch across, At the end of the row number 17, we should have 22 single crochets. Chain one and turn, and for the number 18, we are going to be making one single crochet 21 times. And on the last stitch, we are going to be making one increase. Just keep working like that. I did my increase, and for the next row, just chain one, make one single crochet across. At the end of the row number 19, we should have 23 single crochets. And for the number 20, this is going to be the last uh, row with increases. So make one single crochet on each of the next 22 stitches. And on the last one, we're going to be making the last increase. Okay, make two single crochets on the last stitch here one and two and for the last row make one chain and make one single crochet on each stitch across now we will have 24 single crochets okay and we are done with the half of it so i need you to make one more like this just repeat the same uh, steps I have my two here and I will be uh, leaving a long tail here so I can sew this to the uh, cocoon. Just make one chain to finish. Okay, just place these two like this and now I place it like this. And we're going to be going up taking the stitches here on the corner take the other stitch here and make one single crochet and this is how we're going to be 
uh, connecting these two pieces making one single crochet taking the two pieces together or you can make a slip stitch too that is up to you Now we have connected this, as you can see, we have a very nice edge here. Okay, I already hide all the, all the ends here. And the next step is going to be to grab your yarn needle. And we are going to be stitching all the way here. Just going through the stitches like this. You don't have to be perfect. take the stitches like this to the end and when you're done stitching just pull the jar like this okay I place a marker here this is the round number eight and we're going to be starting stitching uh, the fin to the cocoon on the number seven you can hold the cocoon like this look for the number seven is this one and you start making stitches here but before make sure you have the right size for for this part And just continue stitching okay I place a marker here uh, this is um, the round with the row with single crochet that we did to join the two pieces together so make sure this is going to be right here in the middle of the of the tail here and continue stitching all the way around I am finished here with the details. I add a little bit of ribbon here for the waist. Uh, this is the information for the ribbon. And I decided to add these little pearls over there. And this is the size that I use. I want you to see these ones. And these are 10 millimeters. Uh, you can see this right here makes very easy to sweat on the things so I, I really love these ones and they are cheap it's uh, for this size it's like less than five dollars for 100 pieces so I think it's a good buy they are very beautiful thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give us a like and if you are interested in buying these little pearls, I would make sure to leave the information on the box description below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.